the Woods celebrated an evening full of historic wins and surprises at last night's 91st Academy Awards. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier joins us live with the most talked about moments. Good morning, Kevin. Hey, Peter and Suzanne. Um, listen, if you want to talk about the talked about moments, nothing was more talked about than the Lady Gaga Bradley Cooper moment when they hit that stage to perform their hit song, Shallow, and the chemistry and the electricity between them two had everyone going crazy. Well, on the red carpet, we asked the director of the Oscars, Glenn Weiss, about what he had seen in the, um, in the practice and all the rehearsals up to that moment, and he told us a few secrets. I haven't seen a bit of nerves. I've seen two really great professionals, and Bradley uh, took a heavy hand in staging the whole thing. We're far from the shallow now. As you directed this yeah. thing. Yeah. That's so if it fails, it's on me. <laughs> That's true. It did not fail. They are winning. Um, speaking of winning, Spike Lee won his first Oscar. And you know what? When he hit the red carpet, he was already on 10. He was rocking the finger rings from his uh, 1989 movie, Do the Right Thing. And Spike had a good night. Mostly, but when his movie Black Klansman did not win Best Picture, Green Book and Green Book did, Spike promptly got up and walked out of oh. the theater. And a lot of folks were wondering what was going on. Well, afterwards, he talked about it backstage, and I just want to point out Spike was feeling no pain. <laughs> Let me take another sip. <laughs> oh, okay. Next question. <laughs> No, I thought it was court side of the garden. The ref made a bad call. <laughs> okay, Spike, we hear you. Um, the president also tweeting about Spike's speech after he won for Best Adapted Screenplay, and uh, I'm sure they'll have a little back and forth that'll go on for a minute. Uh, can we talk about Richard Grant, who was nominated for Can You Ever Forgive Me? He was a Best Supporting Actor nominee, but all he cared about when he hit the red carpet was seeing Barbara Streisand. He's obsessed with Barbara Streisand. Mm -hmm. His reaction when she walked out on the stage was priceless. What he didn't know is that Barbara Streisand had reached out to his co star, Melissa McCarthy, and Melissa had blown Barbara off. Listen. Richard is obsessed and yes. loves her so much. Beyond how, obsessed, how, I'd say. How, how much are, aren't we all? Yeah. And then he said, has she seen the movie? I'm like, I'm not going to call Barbara and ask her if she's seen our own movie. Like, it's just not the call I make. And then she put out a Twitter uh, comment saying, I did email you. You just blew me off. You blew because off Barbara? I don't check my email. I haven't checked it. You did years. after that, right? Yes. And I was like, I'm the worst. I'm terrible. Who blows off Barbara Streisand? <laughs> Nobody. <Wow>. Nobody. <laughs> But, of course, we love Melissa McCarthy. Um, one last thing, uh, the big upset of the night. Everyone in the world thought that Glenn Close was going to win for Best Actress. Olivia Coleman sneaks in. She was fabulous and the favorite. She won, and then she delivered the speech of the night. It was beautiful, and she had a beautiful shout-out for Glenn. She did. To be in this category with these extraordinary women, and it's Glenn Close, I, you've been my idol for so long, and this is not how I, I wanted it to be, and I, I think you're amazing. I love you very much. Even Olivia mentioned it when she was up on stage tonight that she wished it would have gone a different way for you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really, really good. You're the darling of this award season. <laughs> I know. You know? <laughs> I was upset about all the people who bet that I w was going to win. <laughs> I was one of those people. I knew she was going. I knew it was a lock. Peter and Suzanne, it was one of the weird upsets of the night. But congratulations to Olivia Coleman, who will be Queen Elizabeth in the next version of Netflix, The Queen. So Ooh, can't wait to see her in that. It'll wait. be great. Yeah. So many great fashions, so much stuff to talk about tonight. JLo's dress in person. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. my gosh. She looked amazing, didn't she? Oh. Oh, I turned Poured and looked at that dress. dress. Like a disco ball. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin.